Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Tripolar, T-R-I-P-O-L-A-R, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Minecraft here on the Xbox One edition. In a brand new series I like to call Things to Do in Minecraft, where I'll be showing you different mini games and fun things you could do and build in Minecraft to spice up the game a little bit because the vanilla version of the game does get boring once in a while, but these are creative ideas that I can do, and you guys know that I'm a very creative person if you know my channel at all. If you don't know my channel at all, make sure you do subscribe for more Minecraft content every single day whether it's role plays, tutorials, or things to do in Minecraft and other stuff like that, survival, and basically everything you could ever want in the Minecraft channel, make sure you do subscribe and hit that bell as well to receive notifications for when I put out new videos, which is twice every single day. So if you like fresh Minecraft content every single day, make sure to give me a thumbs up down below. And uh, also, let's try to get this video to 1,000 likes on it. That would be absolutely amazing. But without further ado, let's get into our first things to do in Minecraft ever, which is a mini game I like to call Corpus Caged. So I'm going to be going through today. As you guys know, I built a lot of mini games. We're in my CMA world right now. And this is one of my newest ones. So if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you go down below in the comment section below. Let me know what, what mini games you want to see and how they're played. And uh, yeah, so this is, I might have people join me in the future. Let me know if I should have, do that and we can actually play rounds of it. But this one didn't really need me to require it. I just built this recently. So we're going to go through it right now. So this game basically is going to require you to have an, a sort of fenced in area. This one I sort of made look like a prison with four corners and different cages in the middle. You're going to have want a, a variety of cages. Uh, for this one, I do have seven different cages um, along the entire thing. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven, which are worth different point values. And if you don't know, there's this new thing in Minecraft called the chorus fruit. And I'm going to uh, show you exactly what it does. So when you eat the chorus fruit, it will actually teleport you uh, to a different direction it randomly it is it does not really choose it for you it's just totally random so when i first found out about this i was like dang i can actually really make a really cool mini game uh where it sort of is based on the random locations that you might occur in as you can see i just hopped into uh this other mini game um but yeah so this is how uh course um course caged works so basically you're going to need four uh Basically, you can play this by yourself too, but it's really fun. Two to four players, uh, and you're going to need a large fenced-in area uh, like I did here. Sort of put it next to the the jail over here because it looked like it had, sort of have a jail theme. It went along with the cage theme. Um, you're going to want four corners with four different colors for the different players. So I have red, yellow, green, and blue. And then you're going to want um, about – I did seven. I thought it was a good number with um, – Cages on the outside, all with different sizes and point values. So as you can see right here, you have the bronze uh, colored one, which there's only one bronze colored one, but it's the largest, so it's only worth one point. You also have, oh, hello. Um, you also have the silver ones over here, which are worth two points, and they're a slightly bigger. So you guys can see, this is a three by three size um, on the inside. This is a two by two size. And then you have the ones that are worth five point, or I mean, three points, which are the gold ones, which is a one by one. It's just a single block. Um, so those are a little hard to get into. And the premise of the game is everyone goes to this circle um, on the outside so let's just say i was uh this yellow play over here i would go here with my chorus fruit and basically what i have to do is keep eating the fruit until i teleport into one of these now there's several ways this game could work and can be played so if you have four players um basically since the chorus fruit c takes you literally anywhere like as you can see i literally just went under the map um in that situation let me just dig my way out of here um this is how I played it, and this is this is sort of where I made it. You guys can sort of make up your own rules um, as well. I'm trying to get out of there. There we go. Um, so here's how I play it. Since you can go under my map, I say that if you go under the map, it's an instant elimination, um, and you're just out for that round. Um, basically, all the players go until they get into the cages. If you are, let's say you're here, and your next teleportation is outside the cage, unfortunately, there's nothing to barricade it to stop that from happening. But if your next move is outside of the cage, then you then must run back. So it's like a penalty, sort of. And you must run back to the front of it and get back into the arena. That way, um, it's sort of like a time penalty, and you're losing time on your you know run. But uh, basically, you're going to keep going until one of the players actually makes it inside the cage. So we're going to see how well I could do. Um, you know, this game has very different results. So uh, let's just say I was playing. Say one, two, three, go. And basically, you're going to want to eat this as fast as you can. So, okay, so there we go. I was teleported outside, which does happen quite often. Uh, you can make this a lot bigger as well if you want to have more players. You know, but you could have like a six-player game or an eight-player game. Um, but I would have to run all the way back. And then once I step foot in, I'll have to do it again. And then I would basically just teleport around until I got... Oh, there we go. I got you 
actually got, that's the first time I ever did it. I actually got into the one by one cage. That's, that's actually an awesome, awesome example. I've played this game a lot, testing it out, and I've never ever got into one of these cages. So that is really, really awesome. So now that you can see basically how the game is played and how I can actually get into one of those gold things, I'm going to try to do it again and I'll just show you how the different games would go. So, oh, I'm outside. I would have to run back in. And this would be a really fun game to play with four different players. I know we'll be doing, boom, there we go. I'm actually having a lot of good luck today. I got into the two points one. So that I would sit here until all the players are either eliminated, meaning they went underneath, or um, basically until everyone gets in a cage, or you can set a time limit. I'll probably set like a three-minute limit time, three minute time limit if you're not in a cage, because usually it's hard. I don't know why I'm getting... I'm having a lot of good luck today, probably because of you guys. Uh, so actually, let's smash that like button for good luck. Go down below and smash that like button because we're having such good luck today. But uh, yeah, it would be like a three-minute time limit or like a one-minute, whatever you guys want to really play, two-minute, five-minute, ten-minute, an hour, I mean, whatever time you really have. Then you stop, and whoever has the best value cage um, wins. So, but but the the risk is, let's say I was like, oh, I'm in, I'm in this one, but Billy, who I'm playing against, is in the gold one. Then I'm like, oh, dang, I'm not gonna win. I have to get into the gold one so that I could transport out and I could try to get inside the gold cage. And then if I do, oh, I keep missing. Uh, again, it's really hard to get into the gold cages. Um, it's sort of like a risk game. So like, especially. Um, so if I'm in the two and no one else is in the gold, I might sit in the two because it's whoever has the highest point value will win. So that's why you kind of need a time limit or until everyone's in an actual cage. So that is how the game works. I'm going to try to mess around a little more and see if I, uh, what ones I can actually get into. All right, we're going to try going from the green corner right now. Sorry, I have to keep t uh, taking breaks. As you guys, some of you know, my, I'm actually sick right now. So my voice keeps going, but I'm going to try to make it through this video um, because I'm having a lot of fun in this cool little mini game. So let's start. Oh. That would be an instant elimination. And I do have to fill some of this in. As you guys can see, we sort of had to make the ground flat to make the video game uh, games. So the underground rule, I mean, it works in my game. I think it's kind of cool of an instant elimination, sort of like that bad luck factor. But uh, if you make this on solid ground, you shouldn't really have that problem. Uh, so worry too much. Yeah, especially this green corner. I'm going to have to block this up. And really, if you have the problem where you're building it like I'm doing, all you really have to do is put some of these blocks in because it will not really teleport you in areas like this um, at all. Or what I did before is I just took buckets of water uh, as well, and I sort of dumped them all in here. And then what that does is it allows uh, you cannot teleport to those areas um, with water because obviously you're, they're not going to spawn you underwater. I don't think Minecraft's that mean. Um, and they could. I, I really don't know. Maybe they, maybe they would do that. But uh, yeah, I like to put water down here. Uh, that's what I did. It sort of worked up. And it sort of fixed the problem. So uh, let's see if it actually did that for me. Um, if I go here now, I'm going to try the chorus plant. And then, boom, uh, I'm on top of the wall, so let's try to get into the arena. There we go. And if you're on top of it, does not count. You have to be inside of it. So if you're on top of it, does not count. You have to be inside the actual cage. You cannot walk off. You can't move all. And there you go. I got into the bronze one. So that's actually me getting into all three different cages. So just so you know that they're all possible, even though the first one I got into was the gold. So obviously it was going to be possible. So this is just a fun little game that you can play with your friends involving the new chorus plant, um, you know, thing oh i'm outside the cage gotta run back in so this would have to be really fun with four players uh, we will be doing in cma in the future so look forward to that um if you build this on your own let me know uh, in the comment section below or on twitter and instagram uh it's link me a picture of what yours looks like and uh and i will check it out and make sure to like it and repost it uh saying that you did something but guys thank you so much for watching this episode if you did enjoy it and you want to see more of these sort of mini games things to do yes i got into it uh, make sure you leave a like down below if you're new to the channel make sure you do subscribe and comment what mini games you want to see next because i have a whole lot of them that i can show you so guys thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one bye guys